Hello everybody, hello, it's Coach Eva from Peak Physique. How is everybody doing on Tuesday? How are you doing on Tuesday? Well, let me tell you a story. And this story, somehow I think this story uh, can somehow resonate with you or maybe you will find similarities in some of the story that I'm going to talk about. Well, this past weekend, we did a survival tactics. Obviously, for those of you who know Steve, my husband, he's a Marine, right? And we were practicing uh, how to survive in extreme situations. We'll be prepared, prepared pretty much, right? Uh, expect the best, but pre be prepared for the worst. Now, I don't see who is watching me. Maybe you can make a comment or, uh, or it's going to show me in just a second. So, so yes, as we put up uh, the tent, we had a few minutes to pack our bags, leave the house, stay in a tent overnight, and we had to do all the different steps to survive. And one of the things is in survival, right, right, you need to set up the campfire. You need to know how to start the fire. Right, so obviously we know the tools, we know the steps, but this time we thought, okay, we're just gonna get the ignition and start on a wood and see how this is gonna go. Well, let me tell you, we've been trying for a long time and nothing was working. And the reason why I'm telling you this story, because as I was looking at Steve doing it, and then we were like, well, there is an important part missing in starting the fire. I we were I just immediately thought about all of you who are out there and who's struggling with the same thing. So let me let me go forward with the story. So to start a fire, you need a cotton ball, right? The spark will create the fire in the cotton ball, and then the cotton ball will start the fire in the wood. That's how it goes. That's how quickly it goes. So I still don't see you guys actually, oh, I see somebody watching, but I do not see the names yet. So we kind of knew this, but we just wanted to see how this is going to go. And I immediately, for some reason, it clicked in my head. Those, those stories, these experiences that you have in life, you can relate to a lot of things in other people's life or really put it in a, in a, like in another box of other person's life, right? So I immediately thought, oh, hi, Chupi. Hello, Freddy. And I am, hi, guys. Hi, Ita. And I immediately thought about you guys. Well, Ita not because Ita is a part of Peak. So this is what I thought about all of the survival thing that was going on. A lot of you people out there use the wrong tools, not to set up the fire. I'm not going to teach you how to set up the fire. It's all about a metaphor, really. A lot of us use the wrong tools or steps in achieving something. That's what I'm trying to get through it. That we were very stubborn to use the starter and go with the sparks on the wood, but we knew it that it's not going to work. So a lot of you people out there, a lot of you guys are kind of stuck, stuck in a situation or maybe stubborn enough that not want to let go and you start using tools that will give you the success. So other words, meaning a lot of you maybe are trying the free YouTube channels or trying the workouts at home and it's nothing is working because the workouts are not put together, the workouts are not challenging enough, the workouts are not simple enough, yet effective enough, the workouts are not fun and, uh, and energetic and enthusiastic, the coaches blah, the workouts are always the same, and you kind of stuck. So what happens, You either you're going to go forward and start doing the workouts, or most likely, if you have a situation like this, you're not going to go forward with anything because it's just a blah. It's not a good workout. It's not a good coach. You don't have the right tools. So you give up. And a lot of you got in this situation, like we were with that fire, that you are stuck or you, tr or you are stubborn enough to continue doing the same wrong thing, the same wrong steps, even though we knew this. So a lot of you, a lot of you guys know this, but yet are not maybe honest enough with yourself or just making excuses not to change something and go forward. So we knew this. We did this purposely. 
And then immediately when we switch that and we move into the tools that we know that work, like the cotton ball that sparks the fire, starts the wood, and immediately the fire was there. So if you are a person that it's using wrong tools constantly, maybe you want to lose the weight, maybe you want to uh, get healthier, and you're continuously doing the same mistakes over and over again, hi, Johanna. I see Malachas, you are not going to get the results because you are stuck in that place. Like we were with that fire. We were with that starter. We were not going anywhere. So the fire could represent also like the health, you know, a, a metabolism in you. It can represent anything in life right now in, in you. And so I want you to think of your life right now. What is happening in your life that you maybe you're like stubborn about? Maybe you think that you know better or maybe you just um, have a high ego and think, yes, that's like, I know better, right? I know it all. I, I know, I know. And I came across people like this, but yes, this person or these people are overweight and they know it better than the coach. So guys, wake up. Somebody has to shake you. And right now, it's not the time to sugar you or coach you or give you all these things and make up stories. It's about really being real because what we're facing right now, it's chaos. And if you do not have someone that will lead you and coach you and guide you and give you the good tools, you might be feeling lost. If you felt lost before, you might experience this quadruple or even more times so that's what i'm saying don't get stuck on that starter fire with a wood and just the starter because it's not gonna go you need the tools you need experience you need coaching you need somebody that will lead you and say look this is what i have done this is what we have done for so many years, over 20 years experience. We can lead you by example, like walking the walk, like the tip of the spear. Because we've done it, we're doing it ourselves. I can't teach my people, like I, Ita, Johanna, uh, Paul, hello Paul. I see a bunch of peak freaks and previous peak freaks are here. The current peak freaks, they are going, they are doing it. Their mindset is fixed. They are doing great. You guys are, the big figs that are here are doing great because they have the tools. They have the steps. They have a step-by-step -step explanation what needs to be done. Plus, the workouts are there for you. So you don't need to struggle anymore because a lot of you are in a struggle right now. You, you're trying to figure it out. Because you make the max, maybe biggest excuse ever. I don't have the time or I don't have the money. I can't afford it. But in the meantime, you're wasting your precious time. You're wasting money on something different. Or even if you're not spending money, you are being in the same spot that you were a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, four months ago, maybe five months ago, maybe even more. So stop wasting time. Stop being at that moment that we were starting the fire and get the right cotton ball. And the cotton ball represents the tools that you can use in your health and fitness program. But you cannot rely on yourself if you are not a master in the field. If you do not have, if you are not a coach, I would never suggest you to try to figure it out because, uh, you know, a lot of people, you want to make things simple as, as far as your habits goes and as far as implementation of the four locks of behavioral change. It's simplicity, right? Make it simple. But if you are not a coach, you can't make it simple. You're going to complicate things or you're not going to know where to go or what to do. So stop wasting time today. Stop being stubborn. Stop being, you know it all because we, none of us know it all. However, some of us, because through the experience, through the trial and error, through, through uh, digging the topic for a long period of time and being in the topic for many, many years, discovered the right way, discovered the way that it works. So reach out to the people that know better than you 
And that's what you need today. You need a mentor. You need a coach. You need someone that will open up your mind, that will push you forward, that will challenge you, but yet give you feedback, that will not sugarcoat you and say, everything is fine. No, you need uh, someone that will tell you the truth. So you need the cotton ball that will give you and spark the fire in you, that spark in you. So that cotton ball will be us because we have the tools. We have the tools for weight loss. We have the tools for the workouts. Two live sessions a day, morning and evening. If you're going to skip it, if you're going to miss it, you can always replay it. But imagine the workouts are different every single day. We always challenge you on some different workouts, some different exercises, never the same. So you're always feeling like, wow, finally, I see the change. Finally, I'm losing the weight. Finally, I start feeling better. Finally, my clothes feel better. Finally, I am energized. Finally, I feel like I belong in, to a community that can understand me. And you are not alone anymore because the alone factor has been with us for too long. And some of you are still stuck there. So today with that video, I hope you're going to understand that. Look how many months it's been. It's December. We are approaching a new year. In March will be a year since the pandemic started. A year. A year. And some of you, some of you, when I speak to some of you or some of people just literally sent messages, some of you gained so much weight. So much weight. I'm not talking about five. I'm talking 50, 60 pounds. And this weight, guess what? You need to lose that weight because this weight may make you unhealthy. This weight will cause you more problems in your aging body. We are not getting younger. We're not going in reverse. We're going forward. We're aging. Every minute that you waste, it's a minute that you are older. I don't know that. I don't think that sometimes some of you just uh, really realizing this. That this is not going backwards. We not. What's the movie that was with um, with Brad Pitt, Mr. Benjamin? If you never watched that, he was born as an old man, and then as the the movie goes, he becomes younger and younger. That's not us. This was fiction. <laughs> That's not us. So guys, stop wasting time. Stop wasting time. Get a coach, get a mentor. Right now, me and Steve doing coaching. We lead in business. This is mindset, the, uh, the workouts. So it's all about the right muscle, not only this muscle, this muscle. We figure it out. We got the tools and we can lead you and show you how it's being done. Because I cannot show you what I don't have. I can only share with you what I preach and I do exactly. Otherwise, I would not be able to lead you. So we have figured out. That's why we offer coaching right now. When you have that one-on-one coaching, that specific coaching. And if you are interested today, you need to reach me. Either you want the bold man or you are a lady that needs someone with no excuses mindset. Like myself will put you in the right place. Because everybody needs some. And because we put the muscle, the working muscle that we developed with our bodies, we put it them into work of our mindset. It all works together. And that's how you can succeed in business and in life. So if you are a person that struggles and needs some coaching, we can get you on the phone. We can figure out which program is good for you and let us, and, and, and together we will decide what's best for you and i know that so many of you need that right now it's not again it's not just the workouts it's the whole combination of things because remember everything starts up here if you would remove your head you can't work on the muscle it's not gonna work this is this is where the um, the whole system of the operations happens this is like the headquarters Headquarters, it's in your head, the headquarters of the, all the movements and the thoughts and everything else happens. You got to straighten this one out before anything else. But if you're just looking for the workouts, get the workouts and get those awesome pumping workouts with amazing coaches. Send a message here. You guys know our number. A lot of you have been with us for a long time. Follow me. 
Text me 201-925-1860 and stop wasting your precious time that you will never get it back. And there is always, always, guys, a solution to the problem. There is always something that can be fixed and figure it out, right? Like we just recently with our peak freeze, we created that awesome tool that helps people that are not motivated enough get into a group and work out with others, right? And we've done it. Ita has been doing it. I can point your, your name and post it out here because that's what we've been doing. We always come up with innovations in creativity. And you know the reason why is that? Because it comes from the heart. It comes from the deeper love and care for members. That's why. And that's why I said there is always a solution to something if you deeply care the solution will come to you. There is no doubt about it. So text me, message me, and don't forget that tomorrow we are meeting on the No Excuses Ladies Network, which you can search. If you don't know where to look for, send me a message here and I will reply to you with the network invitation for the No Excuses Facebook page. It's an open page, but the the discussions happens on Zoom. And that's what I want you to join because we're going to continue about the habits tomorrow. We're going to continue talking about the habits. I'm going to give you some examples. You can have a chance to raise your hand and even talk and ask questions. So this is awesome. This is your chance. Uh, I created the, this page to help all the ladies out there who wants to succeed in business and in life. But creating and learning the no excuses mindset, right? To become fit and healthy because that's the foundation of our life. Nothing else, you can't succeed fully if you're not going to have this on the bottom uh, of your foundation of your perfect and beautiful house, right? That's right. My daughter is here. So I'm going to send you hugs and kisses and have a beautiful Tuesday and I will talk to you later. Bye. No excuses.